Come on, Myrtle. Let's go. Okay, so I am deep into organizing. I'm going on a trike packing trip with some friends this weekend. We're going camping for two nights. And I decided that I would use this opportunity to pack as if I'm going on my next tour to Central and South America. And I have made big changes to my gear for camping and camera gear. And so I really want to try it out, see how it fits on the trike, make sure that everything's accessible, just see how it all feels. Um, some of the bigger changes that I have made is I upgraded from a DJI Mavic drone to a DJI Mavic to Zoom. I loved the Mavic Air, loved the photos and the videos, but there were two issues I was having. One was connectivity and the other was my phone or iPad mini 4 just wasn't bright enough. And maybe six months ago, DJI came out with something they call the smart controller. And it is a controller with a screen um, all in one piece. And the screen is much brighter and it uses proprietary Wi-Fi. It's called OcuSync. And so um, the connection to the drone is much more secure. Um, but all of these things are a little bit bigger and a little bit heavier. In my last two tours, I put the Mavic Air in its case in this waterproof backpack and I strapped that to my rear rack. I did the same thing with the new drone and smart controller at Tater Tot and I just didn't like the way it fit in the bag. It wasn't as easy to get in and out and um, strapping it to the rear rack just wasn't as secure as it had been on my last two tours. I also upgraded my camera gear. And so in the past I've had a point and shoot camera and now I have a mirrorless with two lenses. And so I bought a backpack that's designed for camera gear and for drones. And so this is what I bought. It's a um, backpack by Lowepro. And it's of course much heavier and bigger than this backpack. But what's nice is I can still strap it to the rear rack but when I take the bungees off, I don't need to remove this bag. I can just open it, open this bag. I've got props, ND filters, SD cards, batteries. Here's my drone, cables, and I've got my zoom lens for my camera here. And then there's a couple of pockets at the top. And so the smart controller is very accessible. I've got it on a lanyard so I can use it hands-free. And what's really great is I don't need to deal with wires attaching my uh, phone or iPad mini 4. I don't need to worry about the attaching the sticks. You know, everything is all one piece and the screen is really bright. And the other thing is with this lanyard, you know, I can use it hands-free. So if I need to change the battery in the drone, um, I don't need to put the controller down. I can also use it while I'm riding my trike. If I want to have the drone doing active track following me, I can ride and just have the controller handy. And so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, I have yet to really try it out, so we'll see how it works this weekend. But, you know, this, this setup is just so much faster than, um, than, than what I had before with the Mavic Air. And, um, and I think that's gonna be, I think that's gonna work out really well. And so, so that's, um, so this has the bag and it's got a rain cover. I've got my pee like a man thing and I've got my Joby Gorilla Pod. I've got a really nice secure place for my passport and it's a backpack so I can still wear it. The other thing that I've done is I've made very big changes to my camping gear. On all my tours, I always carry basic camping stuff. I carry a tent, I carry an air mattress and a sleeping bag. On my last two tours, I never used my tent. Um, you know, I, I don't mind camping. I'm just not crazy about camping alone. I really don't feel safe. And so if there's a hotel, that's where I'm gonna be. Particularly out of the country, hotels are very inexpensive. And so um, there's really no need for me to camp. Uh, but this is the tent that I have used for many, many years. It's a Big Agnes Copper Spur II, great tent. Um, but you can see it takes up a lot of room, a lot of space in my panniers, and especially if I'm not even gonna be using it. I switched to a, 
This is the Nemo. It's also a two-person tent. Um, this tent weighs almost three pounds. This tent weighs less than two pounds. The other thing I always carry with me is an air mattress, and this is the Xtherm Max. It's 25 inches wide, 70 inches long. I've also got a battery-powered pump for it. It's far more than I need. I only have used this in hotel rooms when the beds are so hard that I need to pull out my air mattress. Maybe I used it four or five times uh, on my last tour. And so I switched it out for this. This is also Thermarest. It's 47 inches long, 20 inches wide, M more than enough for what I need just to use on a hotel bed. And look at the difference in the size and the weight, huge savings. And then I also always carry a sleeping bag. And this is the sleeping bag that I use for um, touring in warm weather climates. And then this is the sleeping bag I'm gonna need this weekend because it's gonna get down into probably high 40s, low 50s, and I'm gonna need uh, more warmth than what this uh, sleeping bag can handle. But there's lots of things that I'm gonna be packing that I'm not gonna be using this weekend. For instance, I'm bringing my computer. I'm not gonna be using that this weekend. I'm bringing six months worth of contact lenses. I'm bringing all the clothes that I'm gonna need for my next tour. And then there's things that I'm gonna be putting aside for someone to bring in their car to the campground that I'm just, I'm not gonna keep it on my trike, but I need it for this weekend. So now I need to get organized, pack up the stuff that I'm gonna carry on this, uh, carry on my trike to the campground and give me a second and then I'm gonna put it all on the trike and just see how it looks. All, all right. right, so I got everything all packed up. This is Myrtle the Turtle, my HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS20. FS for full suspension, 20 for 20 inch wheels. And I wish I could show you guys what I rigged up so I can do this video hands-free. I'm out in front of the house, I'm on the street, I hope it's not too distracting with the traffic noise, but I have DJI monopod feet, which have an extension, so it's very secure. And then I'm using the invisible stick for the Insta360 ONE X. I have a, an adapter for the GoPro so that I can put it on a tripod. And then I'm using the Rode Wireless Go microphone system. And so I, can be untethered. I don't have to use a lavalier mic. I've got the microphone here, and then on top of the camera is a receiver. And so this means that I can walk around uh, far away from the camera and still have decent sound. So let me walk around and show you guys uh, what I got going on here. Okay, so this is the camera bag with my extra lens and my drone, and I'll just use two bungees to attach it to the rear rack. And then I have one of the straps around the neck rest to um, keep it extra secure. And what's really great about this is when I need stuff, all I have to do is open it up. I can leave the bag on the trike and then just reach in and take out what I need. So um, it's gonna make using my drone a lot faster. And let me take this off and then I'm gonna show you guys what's in each of these panniers. So I've got two panniers and I have them separated, the things organized by my clothes and toiletries, kind of like a bedroom and bathroom. And then the other side is camping and electronics. And so in this bag, three straps to keep everything secure inside the pannier. So here I have all my camping gear, my cables, and then I have a 15 inch MacBook Pro and I really like keeping it um, vertical up against the uh, back of the bag. So then on this side, got the three straps. So I've got my bag of clothes, shoes, vitamins, all my toiletries, raincoats, and 
Uh, to be honest, I would be really surprised if both of these bags combined weigh uh, more than 30 pounds. Of course, to offset that, I'm pretty sure that this camera bag weighs at least 15 pounds. So aside from these three bags, what I have is my side seat uh, mount bag. And so everything in this bag is accessible as I'm riding. So I have my camera, Insta360, I'll have chapstick and sunscreen. And then in this bag, I have a battery charger, my Garmin, chapstick, not much, really not much. And I've got the garage door opener. And so tomorrow morning, a friend is gonna be picking me up and we're gonna load up our trikes. We're gonna meet all our buddies at a trailhead. And then we're gonna be riding to a campground. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna to put all of this stuff to a real world test. I'll see you on the trail. And thanks for watching.